So I feel like I'm gonna probably sound like a broken record, but I can't actually believe we are at Christmas gift guide season once again. Honestly, where does the time go? Um, I'm actually on a little bit of a race against time right now because I'm filming this at 3, I think it's about 3.40. Um, and as you guys know, in the UK right about now, it starts getting dark around about 4ish. So yeah, I need to get a scoot on and not ramble too much in this intro. But hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Um, I am so freaking cold. So um, as you can probably tell, I'm all snuggled up with this lovely um, jumper on. It's actually a jumper trail from misguided it's so cozy um i've made myself a lovely warm cup of tea and yeah as you can see from the title guys today i'm bringing you a super exciting video because i'm actually bringing you my first gift guide of 2021 um so this year with gift guides i'm not gonna like do tons and tons and tons i feel like in previous years i sort of do like a dedicated b&m home bargains poundland and don't get me wrong they're great i love watching them but I don't know. I sometimes feel like they can be a little bit repetitive. They sort of have summer stock in every single year. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to do this Primark one. I'm then going to bring you just like an overview of stocking fillers from a range of different places. I'm then maybe going to do just like an ultimate gift guide for him and her. And then I'm also going to do a small business gift guide. So I hope that sounds okay. If there is anything that you are dying to see, do let me know. But that's where we're going to go with this. So obviously I started Primark because I really, really rate Primark for little bits and bobs gift wise. They have some really nice kind of like stocking fillers, just you know, affordable gifts. So if you're someone that's on a budget of like, let's say 10 pound, five pound, they have loads of nice things in. So I'm not gonna ramble, I'm gonna jump straight on in. I will say that it is women. Um, I did struggle to find men's bits this year. I think in previous years, I've done a mixture of women and men. But yeah, I'll be honest, it, for me, it was just mainly the women's gifts. So first thing I picked up from the gift section for Christmas in Primark was this hot chocolate mix um, gingerbread man mug gift set. They always do these every single year and I feel like this year they're bigger than better. Um, they have so many nice mug designs. If you guys know me very well, you will know I absolutely love a mug. Like if there's one thing you can get me that is a fail safe present that you know I'll absolutely love, I mean I love anything because I'm not that sort of person, do you know what I mean? I love just the thought and everything behind a gift but a mug for me is a winner i just love new mugs um, i just got this gingerbread mug how cute is this guys so nice also comes with like the chocolate um hot chocolate mix i just think it's in a really nice box it's six pound you can't go wrong with that that's a lovely present um so that's the first thing i picked up then the next thing i picked up Primark had some really like different things this year and the first thing I came across was this wine cooler um so you simply I'm assuming you just kind of like do you freeze this so place the chiller in the freezer for about four hours run ready place the chiller in the bottle so do you know like if you're having an evening with your boyfriend or friends or whoever it may be and you've got the bottle of wine out of the fridge and you want to sit on the sofa with your bottle of wine but normally it's like oh well, we need to run and put the wine back in the fridge because it's going to get warm but well, if you have one of these you can just simply place it in your wine have your wine out on the table or you know in front of the tv and you've not got to like put your wine back in the fridge because it'll keep it cool so i thought that was really handy if you're a wine drinker um it was eight pound it comes in a nice gift box as well i think it's really pretty so yeah that would be really nice for a wine drinker and then you could get them like a little bottle of wine um and put it in a nice gift bag and i thought that was really nice Oh, and you can also get them a nice glass. Like, you know, go to Asda, maybe get a glass for like two pounds. Wrap that up all nice. You could do like a little wine hamper. So yeah, love that. Um, next thing I got was a bit of a novelty thing. So if you're doing maybe a secret center at work and you only have like a pound or a couple of pounds to spend, this could be one of your items. Um, and it is a head massager. Um, I'm actually gonna give this to Mitchell because Mitchell is that kind of guy that is like, can you scratch my back? Can you give me a head massage? Can you give my feet a massage? Like, he just loves massages, stroked, being stroked, being tickled. Does anyone else's boyfriend like that? Honestly, it drives me mad. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get this for him because I thought he'd quite appreciate that. It actually does feel amazing. Um, I tested it out in the shop. Obviously, I knew I was going to be buying it, but I tested it out. And um, yeah, must say, for a pound, it, it does feel really nice. So I picked that up. Um, next thing guys crazy socks cozy socks can never go amiss um every year i love to receive a pair of cozy socks because i feel like i don't know what happens with all my socks but i feel like every year i kind of like run low even though i get new ones every single year 
Um, but these are like some Christmas ones. They do all different colours. So if you didn't want to go for a Christmas pair, you don't have to. But I did think these were really cute. Um, and these were £2.50. Come with a nice bow around them. Two pairs. Can't go wrong, guys. Um, so you could get these as a present, just as a little something something. Or you could, like I say, make your little hampers or get a little gift bag and just fill it with a few little goodies in. And these are always a little good filler to put in gift bags um oh next thing i picked up i was really really impressed with these gift sets and they're from baileys so baileys and primark this year did a whole selection of just different things like chocolate brownie gift sets there was like a mug um there were so many different bits and bars the baileys gift set that i personally went for was the baileys brownie sunday now all of these bailey gift sets don't actually come with the baileys much to my disappointment because i absolutely love baileys so yeah they don't contain alcohol so you can buy these for someone that you know is younger um doesn't drink alcohol or whatever you have to add the alcohol in yourself i believe um but yeah this one i thought it was really good value six pound and you get a really nice baileys um cup so it does have Baileys on. So this is obviously suitable to, you know, do your brownies in. So if you want to make like a nice big brownie dessert, you can use that for that. Um, but I also thought you could use this for like milkshakes. It's just a really nice glass. What do they call these? Sunday cup? Milkshake cup? I actually have one. So yeah, I thought it would come in really useful. So you get the brownie mix with it. You also get some marshmallows and you get a long spoon. So for six pound, I thought that was really nice. I would like that anyway. So I grabbed one of those. Next, I got a Snoody. I feel like these are really in this year. I've seen so many of them in Primark. Um, and Primark have actually done their own one. So I've seen quite a lot of merchandise ones, you know, like Barbie, Minnie Mouse, and all that kind of thing. And them ones tend to be like double the price because of obviously the license on them. Um, but yeah, there's this plain great Snoody. It's essentially just like a big jumper dress. Um, it's going to keep you so snugly and warm in the winter. It was £14. Um, and yeah, I thought this could be really nice for someone. Instead of like buying them pyjamas, of course, you could get them a really cute pyjama set as well. They did do so many of them in Primark. But yeah, I thought I'd mix it up this year and get a snoody instead. So yeah, love that. Um, next up, I mean, it's not a Christmas gift guide without a pair of slippers. And again... Primark always do just the most beautiful slippers and just really good dupes, kind of like the White Company um, and like the higher end brands. These are so soft. They were only £6. And yeah, I just think they are so nice. So I grabbed some of those. Um, then... <laughs> I mean, I actually bought these for me, and I don't actually know why this is in here, actually. But, um, yeah, I got some microfiber makeup remover mitts. These are £2, and they are genuinely the softest, like, makeup remover mitts you'll ever find. But I was thinking you could, again, you know, get a little box and put a few bits in for someone. You know, if someone likes their makeup and stuff, just get a few essentials and fill it up with. So you could get them these makeup remover mitts. Uh, they actually had this really nice, like, eco um, brush kit. It was like £9, but there was one brush missing, and it was the last one, so we didn't pick it up. But yeah, I just thought you could get maybe like a few beauty bits and put it in a box for someone. Um, that's always nice to do. Like, you could do it for around about £10. So, these could be nice to add into that. Um, right, on to the next bag. This is quite short and sweet, because I didn't get, obviously, tons. Um, but the next thing I picked up was another thing for a hot chocolate lover, and it is these... They're called drink mixes. I'm not too sure how they work. So you get a milk chocolate, salted caramel, peppermint and gingerbread flavour hot chocolate drink mixes. So what do you do with these? So I think you just get four and they're four different hot chocolates. I've just never seen these before and I thought they were really interesting. And for four pound, I just thought again, really nice little gift set. Um, and like, like I said, if someone's a hot chocolate lover, they'll just make the cutest little present. So, yeah, something a little bit different. Loads of flavours to try there. Um, then, next up, I went to the home department. So, if someone, you know, has their own home, likes home bits and bobs, I thought you could get them some nice home bits. There was some lovely coasters in there. Um, there's some really nice, um, like, cocktail glasses. Things like that could make a really gorgeous present. Um, also, a candle. I think you can never go wrong with a candle. And Primark do some really inexpensive ones. So this one was only three fifty, and this is the um, like fresh linen scent that I love. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, and I think it looks quite expensive as well. Like it definitely doesn't look three fifty. I would say it looks a lot more than that. 
So yeah, that would be a really nice gift for someone. Whilst I was there, I also went into the stationery department because I always love looking at stationery and I do appreciate a nice notebook, a nice pen, that kind of thing. So I did find this one. Um, quite simple which I love it's in this kind of like faux leather kind of folder you open it up it just say follow your dreams which I really like and then inside it's got like a holder there for anything that you might need to pop in we have a diary section a planner um, I think we've got notes to do list column you probably can't even see this um, but yeah it's just a really nice kind of like planner notebook um, to-do list kind of thing just a good organizer and this was only five pound um, I don't know if it's fair to have a pen in with it or not guys there is a pen holder but I did pick up a pen that was only 80p and it's just this gold pen with a star on I thought that was really cute so yeah you could pick the pen up as well if it doesn't come with the pen and just pop that in there for someone um, but yeah I thought that would be really nice if someone loves diaries and stationery and then the last thing gift wise i thought you could get for someone is a scarf oh my god guys when i say primark are killing it with their scarves at the moment they're absolutely killing it they have every single color they have so many gorgeous just styles of scarves this year um this is a personal fave that i picked up it's got the tassels on the end and these were only six pounds and they are so chunky just amazing quality um they did this one they also do this brown one as well for six pound they do this in like a burgundy red um they do it in cream and um, they also do kind of like a multicolored tone of like brown and orange you might have saw that on instagram that i was wearing uh but yeah i'm really really rating the primark scarves this year and i think a scarf would be a lovely gift too um so yeah that's that and the final thing i picked up this isn't really i mean you could get this for a kid maybe but i just thought i'd show it you because i was so excited um i picked this up from the christmas section and it is a gingerbread decoration guys how cute is this i just i do you know what i have this new thing with gingerbread like i just love gingerbread anything with a gingerbread man on i'm obsessed um this was only 350 and they do all different sizes of these so you could have the whole family but yeah, I just thought this was really cute. You could just pop it on your side. Um, like I say, you could gift this to a kid, a child. Um, I'm sure they would love it. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, so anyway, I feel like, wow, that was so speedy. <laughs> I feel like I've absolutely whizzed through that. And I don't feel like there was absolutely heaps but anyway guys that is my primary gift guide for 2021 and um, hopefully this has given you a little bit of inspo and an idea of some of the bits that they have in primark in their gift guide section at the moment um, i'm sure bigger stores might have a lot more selection i feel like with fuss park and um nottingham i got kind of a little bit from each they have big sections but when you go to the likes of like birmingham leeds manchester they just have huge sections and even more stock so yeah definitely check them out um, i really hope you have enjoyed this video and yeah i shall see you all in my next video for gift guide number two Bye bye